This is a tank bag that was built for an R80 GS in about 1998 or 97, and it was used until about 2010 uh, for traveling. And it, can, it has uh, a plug-in near the steering head of the bike to power the satellite receiver, and then here's the antenna for the satellite receiver. And this is a battery-powered radar detector. This mixes the signals from the two. Uh, there's a headphone jack here with a sound adjustment level here on your left as you ride along. And, and, and normally there would be a coily cord coming from here going up to your ear speakers in your helmet. On the right side of this tank bag is a, uh, a grease pencil so you could write uh, whatever you wanted uh, along the way, a highway number or whatever. The GPS would be uh, would be um, on the handlebars of this bike. So let's take this apart and see what I've got. Many of the items in this tank bag were transferred to the tank bag that we just uh, reviewed that went with the newer bike when I retired the R80GS and started more riding the R1200R. The items that I needed to, wanted to keep with me went into the R1200R tank bag and this is the leftovers that didn't transfer forward uh, that, and if I wanted to take the R80GS on a trip now, the bike has a few hundred thousand miles, but it's still in my motor pool, I would get this tank bag and add the stuff from the other tank bag back into this. But this is what this one has. This, um, let's find out, because it's been a long time since I've even looked. So this has a uh, lock that uh, is used to lock... Um, helmets or riding clothes to a bike. The other had a, a different kind of a lock. It's just a loose random um, thing. This is an extra set of earplugs. This is a carbon fiber side stand plate. And this is a gimmicky carbon fiber side stand plate that I made at one point. I was getting carried away that you uh, put down and then you can uh, this sort of, and you can reach it without bending over. It's just a, a fun, silly, silly fun project. Um, I guess what I must have done when I put this all away is I consolidated it all into this. Here's the rain cover for this bag. And uh, what else is in here? Uh, this is an extra uh, motorcycle. Uh, this is just an extra piece of strap with two buckles on it. So this strap would attach to two of these, and you could carry this as a shoulder bag if you wanted. This is what that, that's for. Um, this is a pair of sunglasses, and the other bike, this is not only a pair of sun, oh, this is two pairs of sunglasses. So this is leftover, I guess, stuff. In the, when I traveled with this type of a case, I carried sunglasses and reading glasses in this, in, in this thing. So let's see what we can, what we, what we, let, what the old stuff is from the old setup. This is a carburetor diaphragm for that bike. This is another uh, Chase Harper bag with a bunch of nonsense in it. Let's see what's in this. First, let's in the outside pocket, aspirin, a Fresno lens. Tylenol, button batteries for some stuff that's on the bike, a um, GI can opener, keys for something that's on the bike, a couple of quarters and, and uh, dimes. This is a locking uh, screw for some sort of radar mount. Um, and in the main part, Piece of bicycle inner tube wrapped around a, uh, I think a taillight bulb. Microfiber cloth. This compass with this added on piece fits onto a mount uh, if you want, at one point. Just a compass. We used to sell these, we now sell a different version of this, but this is a scissors that comes apart to make a knife and it has a bunch of different uses. We sell a different type of this scissors now, but 
20 years ago we sold this one. A couple of glue, a couple of glue sticks which are useful with a lighter to melt. This is a thumb squeegee for a glove that now nowadays all of our gloves come with squeegees built in. But in, in, when at this time you used to put this on and uh, use it to clean your shield. This is a thing to position an electric vest cord. Another thumb squeegee. These are um, have dead batteries. This is these are finger lights. You wrap them around your finger. And uh, you have an on-off switch to, we used to sell these also. We don't sell these anymore. Uh, this is an old tire gauge we used to sell. We don't sell that anymore. A roll of duct tape, which we do still sell. A lighter, a spare combat touring boot uh, strap, side release buckle. This holds spare bulbs for a certain kind of a mag light type flashlight. Nowadays, there'd be LED lights. This is just vinyl electrical tape. Um, this O-ring is used for something on the RNGS. Now I don't even remember what it's for. Um, this is a plug for the timing hole on the RNGS that I lost once and bought it and had a spare. That's all that stuff that goes in that bag. And again, this is 20 years ago, so this is all pretty dated stuff. I think what I want to do is move all of this over here. Let's see what's in this one. Sunscreen, bug, bug relief stuff in this one. This is a spare set of ear speakers for whatever audio you need. Earplug speakers. This is a, uh, a mag light type light, and it's uh, we used to we used to make a headlamp strap for mag lights. You would put this on your mag light. You put this on your head, and this was before lots of little headlamps existed. We used to sell these, but it still works fine. And that's what, and the bulbs for it are in, the little incandescent bulbs are in this thing uh, for the light. It's, it's quite a history lesson here. I haven't seen some of this stuff in many years. This is a thing we used to sell that is a face shield cleaning system. You spray your face shield, scrape it off with this, and clean it with the towel if you don't like the water and the squeegees that are at gas stations. So this would be a face shield cleaning system. We used to sell these. This is an Evapo Dana. It's a, actually we got a patent on this. The, it's a lamination with a windproof fabric on one side and a viscose rayon fabric on the other that uh, holds a ton of water. So you'd go into a convenience store or, and you would wet this down and then you would put this on and, and ride it away cool in hot conditions. This is another spare ear. Oh, these are custom, old custom ear earplug set, uh, which I no longer use. I use the silicone mushrooms. This is a hat to keep the sun off your head. So it's, it's just a simple hat. I think it was originally for bicycling, but the reason I liked it is because it crunched up small, and uh, normally that would travel in in this position here under under this. Um, what else have we got here? So these are the leftovers from this old tank bag system. Here's a, and uh, this is full of little button batteries or several devices on the handlebars of this bike that run on, on button batteries. And uh, this would be the, the ear speaker cord that would plug into here on this thing. And this is a, uh, Notepad of made on waterproof paper, which we still sell. I think a different brand. And that is all the leftovers from the old tank bag system that didn't get transferred forward to the bike I'm currently riding. Thank you very much for your time.
Uh, we've seen some ideas here that will help you make a tank bag uh, that, so that you can be sort of ready at a moment's notice to put a sleeping bag or a tent or a bivy sack on the back of your bike and take off for a weekend uh, with enough stuff to have a pretty good experience. And, and so it's all preloaded and sort of ready to go.